music makers and I want to tell you a little bit about how we make our uh, some of our soundboards. A lot of our soundboards we're making today out of um, solid mahogany. It's a nice soundboard material. It's real stable and, um, and soft enough to give a good tone. And so what we have to do is we have to resaw these. So I thought I'd have uh, uh, Zach help me show you what that is. So when we, the reason we need to resaw is because our soundboards are often um, wider than a standard board. The boards just don't come in a width like this. So that's why we do what we call resawing. And, and when I say resawing, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it in half uh, this way so that when it's done, we'll have um, a board that will open up like this. It'll be a book matched piece and it'll be wide enough to make a soundboard. Um, so that's why we do resawing. So why don't we have Zach uh, come in and we'll demonstrate how we do that. Okay, so Zach's got the bandsaw all set up. If you look at the bandsaw here, we put a pretty hefty blade on here to do a resawing. It's, a, it's serious work on this machine here. We've got a large fence set up. Got a piece of mahogany we're ready to, to run through. And uh, a pusher. Zach's got his dust mask on. We've got a big dust collection system here. So Zach's gonna turn that on, hit the bandsaw, and we'll run it through. Let me grab my ear protection. And there it is. We got our piece resawed. So now the next step will be to we'll edge glue these pieces together, put some glue in here, glue this together, and then we'll sand it, plane it down to thickness, and, and cut out our soundboard.